Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the first time if this is your first time here. Uh, I'm, today we're going to be working on a granny square. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. So I'm going to be working this today with just a scrap ball of yarn. So let's get into it. So to do a slip knot, we're going to take the yarn and we're going to hold it in our hand. We're going to gently hold it between our thumb and our middle finger like that. Take it over our finger and we're going to cross it as we come back up and around. So now you've got the wrap around. We're going to take this lower loop and we're going to put it above the upper loop and we're going to take that loop and just pull it straight up. And that's how you have your slip knot. Okay, so now we've got our slip knot all ready. Now we've tightened it and we're ready to begin. We're gonna chain four, just hook, pull through, pull through, pull through. So that's chain four. Then we're going to take our hook and we're gonna put it through that very first chain we did and we're gonna slip stitch. So once we've got it through, we yarn over and we just pull it through and we pull it through again. And now what you've done is you've created, albeit a little hard to see here, there is a central loop there. And now we're gonna keep our tail along with us when we start to go. So we've got our little hoop. It's a little hard to see at the, at the beginning. You'll see it once we get started. So we're gonna do a chain three. And now we're going to work two double crochets into that center loop. So to do a double crochet, we yarn over, put it through the hoop. We're working with our tail along the hoop as well. Yarn over pull through. So now we've pulled through that center loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, yarn over and do the same. And that's your double crochet. So we're going to do another one of those. We're going to yarn over through that center loop, grab that yarn, pull it through, keep our tail with us. We're going to yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So now we've got our first little cluster of double crochets. Now we're going to chain three and we're gonna do three more double crochets into that same center loop space. So yarn over, put it through the little loop, making sure to keep your tail with you there that way you don't have to sew it in later, it will get worked right in. Grab that yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. I'm gonna do that two more times. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're gonna yarn. We're gonna yarn over, same through, or through that same little loop again, three more times. There's once, twice, three times. Still making sure we keep that tail next to the loop with us. We chain one, two three, yarn over, keeping that tail, and the first row is always a little wonky, yarn over, pull through, grab that yarn, pull through two, pull through two, we've got one more to do, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now we're going to chain three and we're going to attach to this first chain three that we did when we were starting the row. 
So you wanna look at it and you count one, two, three, and we just go right into that loop. And we've pulled through and we just pull through. So now we've got our first little square, flip it over. And you don't have to do this now, but I find that this can get a little mixed up as you're working. So we just gently tug that a little bit and it closes up that loop and you can see it working through. We just close up that loop and we take our scissors very carefully, snip it off. So now we've got our beginning square. We're going to take our yarn and we're going to chain up three to count as a double crochet. But because where we're chaining up, we're right above one of the clusters, this is going to count as the last stitch in the row. So we now need, as that's a double crochet, we have to chain one more to hop over this little cluster of stitches. Now we're going to do three more double crochet in this corner space. And now that's the corner, so we have to make a new corner. So we chain three and do three more double crochet in that same space. I hope the lighting is a little better on this video. I got a, a new light to help with it a little bit. So I hope it's helping. So now we've gotten done with our first corner. We've got to jump this cluster, so we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna start into this next corner. So we're gonna do three double crochet. Chain three and three more double crochet in that very same spot, just like we did on the last corner. Oops. Chain one to skip over this little spot, and then three more double crochet in this corner. The second row is just building corners. That's all you're doing on the second row. Three, and we chain three, and three more double crochet. Chain one to skip the cluster. And now we're gonna do three more double crochet. So now we're gonna chain three. And we're only going to do two double crochet. And we'll, I'll show you why in a second, if you haven't figured it out. Two double crochet. And now we meet up with that very first chain three that we put in, this one right here. So to do this, we want to attach this to this. But if you remember, we did a chain three and then we added an extra on to skip this. So we want to look right here and we want to count one, two, three. And this one is the one we're going to go into, not this very last one. So let's get our yarn on. We're gonna go one, two, three, and we're just gonna slip stitch. You just poke it through, grab that yarn, pull that yarn through, and just pull it right through. And now we've finished that row. 
Now, before we go on to the next row, I'm gonna show you a little trick. So, a good way to help yourself at miss a corner, if you take a stitch marker and you just mark your corners as you go, as you go, when you come to that stitch marker, you'll know you have to do a corner. I'm not gonna continue to put them on all four corners, but just so you can see that there and you get the idea. You would want, if you wanna use this trick, you'd wanna put one in this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner, just to make sure that you know when they're coming. So here we are, we're gonna to start to chain up three and this is going to be the only difference in your pattern going forward. We're chaining up three to count as our first double crochet, but this time we don't need to add a fourth chain on because we're actually going to work right into this space. So we're going to do two more double crochet into this space. And that's two. So now we're going to chain one and here we are at a corner. So we're going to do three double crochet. through. We chained three and now we're doing three more double crochet. Chain one and three double crochet. I can feel a knot coming up through my yarn. Now I know because this is, because I've, first of all, frankly, I've filmed this three times because I've had a lot of interruptions, but I also know that when I did this yarn, when I rolled it up, I tested this knot. This was a knot that came from the factory like this. I tested it, it's strong, it's not going anywhere. I think it may be even a double. Always check your knots when you come across them or join from your factory skein because they're not always secure and a lot of times you will want to either pull it and it will come right out and you'll have to reattach it yourself or sometimes it's best to cut them out and redo the join yourself. That way you know they're secure. This is just a sample, I'm not really that worried about it. So we're gonna do one more double crochet and we'll probably be able to hide that knot right in here just like that. You won't see that. You won't even know it's there. Chain one. Now we're at a corner. So we're gonna do three double crochet. Maybe. Three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet. Chain three. And three more double crochet. Chain one to skip over, and we're gonna do three double crochet. That's all this pattern is, double crochet, chains, and slip knots. That's pretty much it. Chain one, we're on another corner, so it's chain, er, it's three double crochet, Chain three, three double crochet, all in that space. Chain three. And three more double crochet. Okay, chain one and three more double crochet.
chain one. Okay, now we've gotten to this corner. So we can see it, we can take that out. We don't have to work around it. So we're gonna do three more double crochet. And this corner we would work just like we work any other corner. I can feel another knot coming up. This knot I did and it's got long tails. Now we're gonna, and now see I caught it right there. I'm gonna do chain three. So as we work the next cluster of, of double crochets, I'm gonna hold that, those tails, right along here, and that will secure them in. So we hold that to there, and we do three double crochets around all of that. Or as many as you can before the tails aren't long enough to do it. There we go, three. It can be a little bit of a pain, but it's worth it in the end. And it's a lot less of a pain than having to sew everything in. I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm gonna just pull to make sure there isn't, just to make sure it's tight, very carefully. Snip those off. And now you can't even tell it was there. And you don't have to sew that in. So now we're going to chain one and we're gonna to connect to our first chain three. And again, we're gonna count up one, two, three, and we're gonna slip stitch right through there. You do wanna make sure that you get into the stitch and you're not working into the space because it will make a difference in its appearance. And then we just slip it right through and we're done. This is three and a half by three and a half. You can stop here and you can make a ton of these blank, a ton of these squares in all different colors, however you would like to do it. And that's fine. It just means you're gonna have a lot more sewing in to do. I'll show you the other project that I'm working on. I just did a continuous granny square. So you just keep going and keep building row after row. So this one is going to be a continuous granny square. And my whole pattern is just gonna be a granny square. It's probably the easiest way to make a blanket this was the second type of blanket I ever made. You don't have to worry about if you get your edges straight because it's just one big granny square. This, when you start to get bigger like this, this is where the stitch markers and the corners really, really help. As you're going around, the bigger it gets, the bigger it gets, the bigger it gets, the less pronounced each corner is in your view. So here, you can sort of see as you're working because it's it fits in the palm of your hand. It's not a big square. When you get to the bigger squares and you're just working around and working around, sometimes you lose those corners or you don't recognize when you're at a corner. So the stitch markers in the corners really do help remind you where you're at. 